So, you're thinking about majoring in landscape architecture. Here's everything you need to know. Whether you're straight from high school or you're transferring from community college, this is encompassing everything you should know before going into it. Disclaimer, I only know my experience from Cal Poly Pomona, so this may not apply to you. I'm gonna do an intro right here. If you wanna skip this part, just go to whatever. I used to be a landscape architecture major at Cal Poly Pomona, graduated in 2020. I used to make a lot of landscape videos just to educate people about what it is because not a whole lot of people know about it. So here I am making some of the last videos in the series uh, just to round it out so you, to give people some knowledge. After college, I did Air Force Reserve. Now I'm working for a tech company in San Pedro. The reason why I'm, I'm making this video is because someone recently reached out to me and asked me to make some more content and had a lot of questions for me. So recently I did an interview, but that interview was two hours long, so I would rather do a recap video than make a two hour long video. It's just way easier for me. What is the landscape architecture major? If you didn't read the description the school gave you, then it's gonna be, it's gonna read something like this. Environmental science that places focus on design of space and human interaction with our natural and unnatural environments. You'll be using skills such as drawing, construction, 3D modeling, computer work, 3D printing, um, and a lot of other nice stuff that sounds cool. It really means you'll be learning about design that's not indoors. So anything that's outside of the building or just outside in general, you'll be designing or putting some info in on. You'll be, you'll be looking at national parks, state parks, um, nature preserves, commercial space, um and yeah private um, anything with nature and people you'll be you'll be work you have yeah this is applicable this major is applicable applicable with anything with nature and people so here's the things you need to know before going into the program so that's kind of like everything about what it is now here's the things you need to know before going into it i would suggest doing a little bit more research past this video but i'll just give a brief overview of some of the stuff you need to know. Um, for me, I really wish I knew a lot of the programs beforehand, like um, a lot of the Adobe programs, such as like Illustrator, Photoshop, you know, and InDesign, you'll be using those a lot. Um, AutoCAD, Rhino, SketchUp, Lumion, I don't, you'll be using those in school. And school's mainly a lot of theory. It's kind of weird because it doesn't really apply to work. Um, at least a lot of my friends who do landscape now, they say a lot of the uh, a lot of the schooling didn't really help them with work, other than making your portfolio, which help you get a job, but doesn't really help you learn what you do at work. You'll be working with real companies and doing like real jobs with your professor, who's knowledgeable and that type of stuff, but they're not truly a designer. It's not they're not real. They're not real. They are real to me. They're real clients and real. Um, companies, but their the projects are not real. You'll never actually make it. You'll design it, but very rarely will it actually become a thing. Like for example, a lot of my favorite work was from the Nature Preserve and the City of LA. Like working with those is super super fun, but none of it really came to be realized. It was all just kind of like theoretical blue sky project. If we had enough money and time, what could we do? It's just mainly like projects to get you thinking and stuff to put in your portfolio. And and with all this work, you're doing a lot of Photoshop and Illustrator, AutoCAD, Rhino. But once you really get out of school, you're mainly just doing AutoCAD. It's a disconnect from school, from what you learn in school and what you actually do in work. A lot of the school stuff is a lot of artsy and a lot of work stuff is very kind of technical. Uh, not to say that school isn't technical, but it's on. But work is more technical than it is art. And you can be more creative during school. I guess that's why they, they push you towards that. Getting back on topic, things before things you need to know before going to the landscape program. Is this something you really want to do for work? Because mostly you'll be working in these programs like AutoCAD, Rhino, and then sometimes going to the field to go see your project being built. But like, really look into some of the projects. Some of some other stuff that I wish I knew before going into this, how expensive the major is, because everything we did, we came out of pocket. That includes printing, 3D printing models, uh, physical models, 
hardware, software, field trips, everything came out of pocket. Um, school will not help you pay for it. Uh, they, they do offer scholarships, but they will not help you pay for a lot of this stuff. Um, for example, to do a lot of this work, you're going to need something that's kind of hefty, like a laptop that costs like a thousand dollars, or a desktop that costs you know fifteen hundred. But you need to you need it at school, so you need a laptop, so it doesn't cost a little extra or something. And then programs like uh, most most programs come with a student discount, so it's actually not too bad. Like Adobe has a student discount, Rhino has a student trial or something like that, and AutoCAD has a free student one. So it's actually not too bad, but field trips. Um, what's special about Cal Poly Pomona is that we do these one week field trips and it could be to somewhere really far. The good thing is we do these field trips and <laughs> we do these field trips and it goes to some place you may have not gone before or may never think about going. So it's really, it's really nice to get outside your comfort zone. But at the same time, it costs money and if you're a student working full time, you had to take a pause off work to go there and spend your money you're using for rent to go on a field trip, like a vacation. So it's, it's kind of hard to balance. So just an overview of what I wish I kind of knew about uh, landscape before I joined is those programs, the expenses, and kind of, kind of what you do in landscape architecture, like work wise, like what, what do you actually do for work? <laughs> because they, they they show you a lot of the the graphics and stuff like oh it's nice and pretty but like what do you actually do though I really wish I didn't kind of do that beforehand uh, workload at at school if you're choosing this major for an easy workload you're choosing the wrong major this is a uh, you don't sleep you don't get a whole lot of sleep when this major uh, every day your professor expects something new and you may have class like every other day or something like that but you should have a lot of progress between Monday and Wednesday and Wednesday to Friday. There should be a lot of progress and every day shows something new. If you're coming in as a freshman from high school and you're planning to do a minor also, and you have like a part-time job, it's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really, really hard to balance all this because the major itself, you'll need to take, um, I think it's at least 12 units just for the major itself. And then uh, I think GEs, You'll have to get through a lot of GEs. Yeah, especially if you're doing the, the four-year plan they have. So Cal Poly Pomona has a four-year plan where they give you priority for your four years, but if you can't graduate within those four years or if you fail a class, they'll take away your priority. I never had a problem getting classes and I didn't have this four-year plan thing. So I don't think it's a huge deal, but if you're really concerned about it, it's there. But if you're planning to graduate in four years and you're coming from high school, it's gonna be pretty tough if you're gonna take a minor and you also have a part-time job. It's uh, it's a lot to balance. I wish you the best of luck. But if you're coming from a junior college or some, if you're coming from uh, or coming in with a lot of credits, then I wouldn't worry about it too much because you can definitely finish in four years. Or if you're coming in as a second year um, from a junior college, then I still wouldn't worry about it a whole lot because it's uh, I don't know. After you after you went to junior college and you come here go to landscape it's kind of cake because you don't have to worry about all the ge's and stuff but um the, the major is still still takes a lot of your time for sure and if you want a social life it, it does take a lot and so now i'm going to list a bunch of references we're going to just have we're just going to throw them on screen here so cad mapper cad mapper basically just takes maps and puts it into cad cad mapper wow google earth google earth is going to be your main uh, way you look at stuff. I don't know how else to put it. You can make big maps with it. You print it out. You draw on it. Yeah. Uh, cutouts. Uh, here's a bunch of links to cutouts. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just gonna post a bunch of links. They're also in the description. Don't don't worry about it too much. So to wrap up to to wrap up this thing, the best part of the Cal Poly experience for this is my this is my review my review of Cal Poly Pomona from landscape architecture major point of view. The best Best thing, field trips. Field trips are the most fun. Most fun you'll you'll have in college, for sure. If you like the people there. If you don't, then probably the worst thing. Yeah, field trips are probably the best part of the major because you go to these places you might have never gone to before or wouldn't have the opportunity of going or doing. Very cool. Study abroad. Study abroad is kind of kind of the same boat. Um, they get they have a lot of opportunity for study abroad. So like China and Italy. 
And the worst part about it, uh, everything's out of pocket. So if you're if your studio was gonna go to New York, everything comes out of pocket. You have to go to New York, or else you're gonna fail the class. All right, so that was pretty much everything you kind of need to know, at least to start with, about landscape architecture. I'm um, going to the major anyways, and school. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. All right, that's it.